we're here with Zach Oliveri uh, coming off uh, last practice before uh, tomorrow's game, and they'll have a little walkthrough before with the uh, U19 men's national team. But we're talking about uh, the goalies and uh, getting ready for this year's world championships. So, Zach, what would you say the most important thing a goalie needs to do on the field to be successful? Um, most people say save the ball. Obviously, that's one of them. But um, my biggest thing is you got to be a leader out there. I mean, you're the last guy. Everyone's relying on you to make that stop. You know, um, so you gotta direct the, direct the ball is where you want the ball shot from, and then it's, everything's gonna come off of that. You know, you direct the ball, you be loud. You know, you're gonna make the saves after that, and be, be a leader out there. So, so who who are some of your favorite goalies or guys you've looked up to coming up? Oh, uh, there, there was a whole bunch as I grew up. Um, one of the main ones which I try to you know implement my style of play off of is uh, Doc Schneider, right, my coach up at uh, school at UMass. And then uh, Doc Darty, uh, legendary uh, goalie here for the USA team. Um, but, but Doc Schneider is a guy I like to put my game off of and uh, you know try to emulate that way. So. so tell us a little bit about why you wanted to play goalie, or did you play another position growing up, or how did how did you settle into being a goalie? Um, really, when I first started, I was all over the place like any player would be. Um, our goalie on that team, like second grade, didn't show up. They threw me in. I was like, Dad, I don't want to win shin guards. He saw I was like, you can be a goalie. So I just stayed in and just worked on it for years, I'm 11 years now. So. Well, tell us a little about your pregame ritual. I know there's a lot that goes into it. You're a pretty superstitious guy, so tell us a little bit about it. Um, there's a lot of things. I always got the, the Beats headphones on, uh, playing the music I like, um, trying to get me ready, focus up. Um, I carried a ball around um, probably an hour and a half, two hours before the game, trying to focus on that. Um, I, I like to dance a little bit, try to get in the mood. You know, I, I don't want to get too psyched up before. Once it, once it gets like 30 minutes before, I, I like to really get pumped up, ready to go. There's a whole bunch. I mean, I, I, I talk to myself sometimes. It's kind of creepy. But, um, you know, I just try to get myself focused in, in many ways. You kind of get into a ritual. It's not really superstition. And if you, if you don't do the ritual, you kind of feel out of it a little bit. So I just do the ritual every day, and then that's how I get ready. So. Now there's a nickname that some of the guys have come up with for you. What was that again? Um, well, I, on the side, I like to I do, at DJ parties. Uh, I go with the name of DJ Zoom. So uh, uh, they call me Zoom on the field. They, they may, uh, Ryan Tucker made up a whole bunch. Uh, I'm not going to go through those. It's pretty, uh, I don't really like them, but Zoom's the one. So. so what was it like being on UMass this year? You guys had a great season, undefeated regular season. Talk about that experience. Um, UMass is a great school, great place. Uh, Coach Canella, Coach Jacobina, Coach Schneider are great guys. And we, it was an unbelievable experience. Uh, I did a red shirt year. Um, we had a great camaraderie as a team, great leadership, and I couldn't ask for anything else. I mean, being a younger guy, going into a, a program and – System like that really ca keeps your head level. Um, it's it's a hard working program. You know we set goals for ourselves and strive for that one achievement as a team, and then individual goals, uh, team coming first. Um, but then the leadership was great. Playing with guys like Tim McCormick, um, Greg Rushing as captains. Um, you know it was just, it was this unbelievable experience, and I, I couldn't ask for anything else in my first year of school. So. So talk a little bit about the battle in net and what's it like competing against a guy like Kyle Turry, another great goalie. Talk about how you guys complement each other, how you're kind of going at it out there on the field. I mean, every day we're competing, but it's it's like, it's like best friends competing. You know, we're trying to get each other better. Um, he's a he's a six foot two slender guy. I'm I'm a little stocky, a five foot eight. You know, um, different aspects of the game. I'm a righty. He's a lefty. You know, we just try to work work hard at the things we're good at. Try to help this team, especially in practice, making the saves for these guys. But um, really. It's, it's no one's better than, than anybody. You know, we just work hard, and anyone can do the job here. So I'm more than, I'm more than happy than to work with Kyle. So. Well, Zach, thanks for your time, and uh, good luck tomorrow in Long Island. Thank you. Appreciate it.